Right. Here at the Hamilton Police Department, they have said, with the exception of the photo and the name of the suspect, they are not going to be releasing any more information until after this case does, in fact, go to a grand jury. Uh, they hope to get it to a grand jury before the end of the week. Now, neighbors are certainly stunned by what happened, but not entirely so. We talked to a business owner who said that the area has had its host of problems. Hamilton police say it was early this morning when Kelly Forte jumped the counter at this Walgreens and threatened the pharmacist with a knife. When officers arrived, he was holding her hostage with the knife at her throat. When they entered the pharmacy, they discovered a lone armed suspect holding the pharmacist hostage with a knife to her throat. The suspect failed to comply with the officer's commands and was shot and fatally wounded by the first officer. Next door at Tangles Hair Salon, owner Judy McNally opened her doors next to the Walgreens. She said the area has seen its fair share of trouble. I had to come in and I saw all the police in the area and it's scary. It really is. Sadly, McNally says that her granddaughter was held up at gunpoint in the very same pharmacy. She was um, held at gunpoint and said, you stay where you are. And the pharmacist, he was, he wanted money, not drugs. Um, and they had heard they, my granddaughter was lucky enough to be able to press a button and notify them up front that something was wrong and, and the, the gunman heard footsteps coming at him and he ran out of the store. McNally credits Hamilton for stepping up patrols in the area and doing what it can to deter crime. As for Chief Bukite, he had this to say about the ongoing investigation. I can assure you that this will be a full, fair, impartial and transparent investigation. Now, we do know that no one other than the suspect was hurt as a result of what happened, the pharmacist nor the officers. The pharmacist apparently very shaken up over what happened. As to how the officers are reacting, uh, we have not been told that. In fact, their names have not been released. They are on paid administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Hamilton.